Hello, good morning and welcome back to 16 years in Alkin Free. Even though it's afternoon now. Sorry, good afternoon and welcome back to 16 years in Alkin Free. You can find me on one of the amazing roads of, uh, across between Cumbria and County Durham. And I mean, there we go, that's a bit better. Apparently this lady's on the uh, Radio 1 Live Lounge this weekend. Uh, no, this Thursday even. Um, yeah, do you ever think um, you've done whoa, any of these hills because you've gone along the A66? Don't. Just honestly don't. They do not do them justice whatsoever. These roads are amazing. The views are out there. You know, I've been across quite a, quite a few views by now. On my 10 months. Well, I suppose I better do my 10 months, really. Hadn't I? Um, oh, what time is my time? Oh, yeah, so it's 11 minutes. Right, you see, there it is. 10 months of travelling. Excuse me. Um, what have I learned? The vast 99.9% .9 of people are great. They are truly great people that will help you out whenever they can. You know, and that goes from people offering me soup and beer in um, Martin to the gentleman and the lady last night. They were saying, oh, well, yeah, you can park up there. You know, or if you go down there, then you're right. If you park up there, other people park up. Yeah, and then, you know, you've got all the people that I've met. You know, I'm on the way to see Mark and Emma and Mark and Lynn. I won't mention what their names on the group chat is, um, because they're not polite. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm off to go and meet them for the last time on this journey. And then you got all the people on Facebook that help me out. And even on Instagram, I've had people there yeah, helping me out. That was a nice place. I could have parked up there. Oh, we'll see what the other one tonight. But yeah, I've been to every county bar Cornwall. And I'm still going with an R in whether to go to Cornwall. I've been to Cornwall before, just not on this adventure. And I've got South of Wales to do as well. Ooh, that goes down a bit. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be uh, going too fast really to cross, that's for damn sure. Um, but I plan on doing that on my way back, plus I want to see a few people on my way back that I haven't seen for a second time. Some of them I'm, I'm, well, I'm going to see for quite a few times, but they just made me giggle so much. But you'll find out that one when I get closer to the time. There's also a... Oh, hello, matey! See, all these lovely little hamlets and places like that are just awesome. Just awesome. And some of the views I've seen just beggars belief that I've been lucky enough to see them. You can go up in third gear. Please go up. But, you know, pros and cons of doing it in a car. Uh, go with the pros first. You can park a lot more places, a hell of a lot more places to be honest, um, because a lot of people just don't even think that something's camping in the car. And yes, I have scared quite a few people getting out of the car because they've not expected it. Ooh, this is going up. Um, you know, uh, other proves, you know. I know I've been cold, but that's just where I haven't woken up to switch the heat on, but it goes to testament of like having two camping mats, a double or king size duvet folded over, a single duvet on top of that, and snuggled into an army issue Arctic sleeping bag, and having two sleeping bags on top of that with a couple of decent pillows. Just goes to show how warm you can make something without needing a heater. So, you know, it's less electronics to go wrong, is basically what I'm saying. You know, a lot more, you know, a lot less. You know, even though my front two lights have gone, uh, the middle light's gone. Uh, what else? Oh, I broke my cup holder, um, which I don't quite know how I managed to do that. Uh, the rear defog doesn't work anymore. I've snapped the cable that opens the rear tailgate, so I can only open it from the inside. Uh, you know, something's wrong with the electrics underneath the bonnet, which I shouldn't really get sorted. Um, but me and William just keep going and going and going. Uh, <coughs> I know they sound like cons, but it's still working whereas I know on a lot of vans when the electrics start 
you know, going in that sort of way, it causes more issues with everything else, and they've come by on, on the driver. Because of the, the amount of kit that I've got, even though a lot of it I haven't actually used, like my telescope, I've used a fishing rod a couple of times. Well, no, I have used the telescope. Um, the tents are a bad idea because I still haven't stayed in any of the tents. <coughs> Some eggs now. Um, and I'm not in the Lake District. Um, but yeah, space is just one of the one of the ones. I think if I had a van with a bit more space than somewhere to put a shower proper shower rather than the one hanging off my door. Um, I think I wouldn't have had so many hotel stops. To be truly honest, you know, it's me because I'm either sat in the front, you know, when I'm not out walking, you know, seeing various bits and pieces, or it's pretty much laid down in the uh, back, or you know, lean on your side so you end up with painful elbows and you know shoulders you end up, you know, digging into your jawline and sleeping, you know, it gets nice when you starfish out for 10 months man 10 months it means I've got less than two months to go on this adventure I wonder where everybody thinks I should take my next adventure or if I should take another adventure I just don't know oh another little gorgeous little hamlet look at it you want to live right out there in the middle of nowhere these places are it maybe I'm not there is more houses for you can see the video <laughs> Come on, William. Chug a chug, chug a chug. He's a little train that thinks he's can. Thinks he's can. And can he? Of course he can. Oh, God. Sheep coming up and on. Oh, that's a great fun. But yeah. Who would have thought it was like last summer? We're now coming nearly into the spring of this year. We are. And I was in, going around Ireland for seven weeks last summer. And I had a brand new fantastic time. I spent the winter over in Scotland, not a lot of people say that. You know, I've been far and wide on the English Isles. I'm even getting to the point now that I'm accidentally coming back across places that I've been before without realising it. And that's the one reason that I'm so glad that I've done the videos and everything like that. You know, so I have a record of being looking back on it. In a quarter of a mile, sharp right. Oh yeah, I'll do that. That is one of the, you know, I'm absolutely loving the fact that I've done these videos. I know a lot of people got annoyed with the name of the videos. Um, you know, seeing me on their Facebook feed, doing up every single day. But it's Take the next right. But it's something for me to look back on and try and edit when I... Reservoir. Open to open the public. In a quarter of a mile, turn right. Morning ice. Yeah, right here, mate. You really love that. And I can turn it into longer videos, you know, without what I say every time at the start of the videos. And then a lot of people ask me to write a book, which I will need a ghostwriter. Oh, we've got some keys going past that. But yeah, on that note, here I am by Select Reservoir in County Durham. Every time I say County, the name, I feel like I'm back in Ireland. Again. Take the next right, then your destination will be on the right. Right, and on that note, like I always say, take it easy, check out that view, keep adventuring, and I'll be a bye.